James Carville drops a truth bomb on Democrats about Camilla Harris. Um, base, sometimes James Carville tells the truth. He, he's, he calls it like he sees it. <laughs> um, and he drops some truth bombs, basically saying, uh, yeah, everything is um, feeling great right now, and everyone's so giddy over Camilla Harris, but be warned, soon, soon she's going to have to... He didn't say this, but um, in, not, in not so many words, I think what he was alluding to was that soon she's going to have to open her mouth and she's going to have to talk off the cuff without anything that's prepared. <laughs> and people are going to see, I believe, people are going to see how dumb she really is, how incompetent she really is, and the media isn't going to be able to cover for her <laughs> sooner or later. It's coming because soon she's going to have to debate Trump and people are going to see. Because look, remember how Tulsi Gabbard... Um, obliterated her during the debates um so we're gonna talk a little bit about that we're gonna show the clip of jay's carvel but before we get started go ahead and hit that like button share this out so we can get this information out there subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when i'm putting out new stuff also check out my link tree in the description it has a link to my patreon that's where i talk about things that i can't talk about here also check out my um um my link tree for my x account where I post news and stuff throughout the um, throughout the day as well. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from PJ Media's Matt Magolis, and he reports that after weeks of pressure, Democrat elites successfully blackmailed Joe Biden to drop out of the presidential race, and President Kamala Harris was quickly uh, coronated as the pre presumptive nominee. I'm sorry, Vice President Kamala Harris. Um, there's no denying that Democrats are in the middle of a honeymoon phase with their new candidate. And that's a great way to put it. That's exactly what's going on. And she's doing these segregated Zoom calls, which is just crazy to me. And the media is letting her get away with it. She's meeting with black women and then she meet with white women. And she, Imagine if Trump did something like that. Imagine if Trump said, okay, I'm going to meet with all the black men, all the um, white men today. Like, how... How are the Democrats allowing her to get away with this stuff? But I digress. However, uh, famed Democratic strategist James Carville is warning Democrats that it is not the time to celebrate yet, and uh, not to celebrate, not time to celebrate yet, and caution them against getting too confident about their new choice. Sorry, I'm struggling reading today. Um, instead of me reading what he said, let me just go ahead and go right to this clip here. Here we go. Well, I hate to do this, but I got to be the curmudgeon. I have to be the skunk at the garden party. This is too triumphalist, okay? This is everybody's giddy. I look at the coverage, and it's great, and we just... Let me... If I had to write a play about what I think it's going to be like, it would be entitled The Ice Pick Cometh, okay? Get ready. They're coming, all right? And it's good. Everybody should feel good and liberated and, and everything else. But if we don't win the election, we hadn't done anything. We haven't changed the temperature in America. We haven't changed anything. And I think the vice president, I hope that, you know, her campaign is getting ready. Uh, I hope they listen to my friend and fellow New Orleanian, Don Brazil, who, has, who actually, I think, has the same kind of view of politics that I do. And they're coming at us. And they're going to keep coming. And this kind of giddy elation is not going to be very helpful much longer because that's not what we're going to be faced with. And I think the vice president, put it in athletic terms, needs a really good cut man in a corner because she's getting ready to get cut. And that's what the, I, I agree with him. The honeymoon phase is over. Sooner or later, she's going to have to open that mouth of hers and people are going to see her cackling like we call That's why we call her cackling Camilla. And they're going to see that and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what people have been saying about her um, over the years is true because um, soon she because she's gonna have to answer for her, um, her far left um, her, her super duper far left um, belief she's gonna have to answer for that the media can't continue to cape for the um, cape for her on on um, on her policies that came out of her mouth and they can't if they can't cape for her with the economy and the stuff that's going on so sooner or later she's gonna have to answer for all of that but Carvel has a great point remember the media is working overtime to literally rewrite history about Camilla's record, which is just crazy. They're deleting stuff. They're changing stuff. They, and the, the only thing is, the good, the great thing is, I should say, is that the internet is forever, and we got all the receipts, and we need to keep posting all the things that she said over the years. We need to keep posting all of the um, 
all of her um, um all of the things she believes and we need to keep posting these things and helping people remember this um what she really believed instead of and, and not letting the um and not letting the mainstream media whitewash or, or rewrite um uh, her, her, her rewrite history but after years of the media covering the fact that camilla was joe biden's border czar the moment she became the presumptive nominee there was a massive effort to memory hold the inconvenient facts. Similarly, there's a concerted effort to cover up um, her radical left wing left wing record. That's what I was just alluding to. Carville may be left a left wing Democrat, but he's been a straight shooter for a long time now. Um, when others were rallying behind Biden, he was calling him out for his weakness, which is true. Today, he clearly sounds unconvinced that Camilla is the Democrat savior in this election. The current surge of fundraising and enthusiasm is a mirage that won't last. Um, and I definitely agree. But that don't mean we give up the fight, y'all. Like I said, we need to keep pushing. We need to keep calling her out on this stuff. Keep posting her old clips and old um, interviews and stuff like that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.